Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless everyone joining in the name of Jesus. Your father kept this secret for you before he died. Hallelujah. Your father kept this secret for you before he died. This is a prophetic world that is coming to reveal something that has been hidden for quite a long time. Hallelujah. Please, I just want you to follow from the beginning to the end. This is a secret that has been a limitation to you. This is something that you have been praying and believing God to be exposed. The moment this thing exposed, your life cannot be the same. One thing I tell people, when something is in secret, it has power. Once it's been exposed, it becomes powerless. When God wants to bless a man, God uses a man. When the devil wants to destroy a man, the devil uses a man. All blessing comes from God to men, through men, to men. So if you are expecting God to speak to you and you don't want to listen to any man, that means I don't know. There is a saying, the voice of men or the voice of God. I'm standing here as a man of God, an instrument that God is using to proclaim this word to somebody watching and connecting. My name is Basil. If you're coming across this channel for your very first time, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Please, let's start by liking this world. Make it to be visible to as many as we can in Jesus' name. This particular prophetic word title is talking about a secret your father, hallelujah, kept for you. And this secret is for you in the name of Jesus. At the place of prayers, when I was just praying, the Lord gave me this word. I had to put it down, not to forget. Hallelujah. I saw someone that heaven has remembered you. I saw someone that you are not in a position where you're supposed to be. I saw someone you have been suffering on a particular position where it's not your place. You know why? Yes, because a secret was kept for you by someone in authority by your father and when your father died this secret has been hidden from you uh, the lord took me in the book of esther i love the book of esther so so much praise master jesus the bible talks of a king called king Ahasuerus, and this king had a man called Haman, and had a gatekeeper called Mordecai, and had a wife called esther esther was one of king Ahasuerus' wife and esther was a jewish a jewish King um, Mordecai was a Jewish, and Mordecai was the uncle of Esther. So there come a time, Mordecai was a kingmaker. What can a kingmaker be doing at the gate? How can somebody that saved the life of a king be doing at the gate? What can somebody that has entitled to be reward be suffering at the gate? Haman was rewarded, and Haman proclaimed a decree. And I said, everybody must bow and worship him. Mordecai said, no, I know the God I am serving. So that was where the battle started. At a particular point of time, Haman decided to be a to kill Mordecai. You might be watching me, and maybe your father, before leaving, your father left the money, properties, and inheritance for you. But your so-called enemies, your uncles, people that were privileged to be there, they took it away from you. Some are, some are even trying to hide the document. Some are even trying to manipulate the document. But child of God, listen to me. I bring you all the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Esther knew the secret place, which was prayer. Esther told Haman, when the decree was being published by, by Haman, Esther told Mordecai, we are going to take a three-day fasting and prayers. After the three-day fasting and prayer, they prayed. Esther went to the king and violated the law. The king forgot about the law. There was a favor that came upon the king. That is the reason why most of the time we need to pray. Child of God, the Bible says, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. There are people that their mouth has been closed. As long as you keep your mouth shut, there are doors that can never be opened. Hallelujah. There are doors we open with our hands. There are doors we open with prayer. There are doors that we need to use hammer. There are dead doors that we need to break it. That is why the Bible talks of a miracle called breakthrough. 
Esther prayed, violated the law. Esther requested for a banquet. The Bible said on this banquet, the secret was revealed. There are secrets concerning you that only prayer can reveal. There are things that only God can reveal. There are people manipulating and sitting on what belongs to you. Only prayer can expose it. The Bible said the secret was revealed. The king requested for the book of remembrance to be opened. The book of Chronicles. And the book was read before the king. And he came to the knowledge that Haman saved the life of the king and he was not rewarded. And that was how the Lord exposed the traitor. Haman. Mordecai saved the life of the king. He was not rewarded. So the traitor was inside uh, Haman. So Mordecai was the one that was rewarded. Haman planned to kill the Jewish and kill Mordecai. So what Haman meant for Esther and Mordecai was reversed back on him. I want to pray. Any secret that was kept for you by any of your family member that people has decided to sat on it. People have decided to grab it, sit on it, that you will never possess it, that you will never have it. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree what was meant for you. Anyone holding it, I declare and I decree as from today, that let the book of Chronicles be remembered. Let the book of Chronicles be read. Let the book of Remembrance be opened. For in Jesus' name, as they read the book of Chronicles, your case is settled. For in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless your family for watching for in the name of Jesus. I'm waiting to hear for your testimony. God bless each and every one. God bless your family for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.